Russia is organizing its first World Cup from June the 14th to July the 15th, and security is one of the major challenges. Against a backdrop of Russian hooligan violence, the terror threat and diplomatic tensions, the 11 cities hosting the tournament want to ensure the highest levels of security for fans and players alike. Among the measures is a police force for tourists, already in operation around stadiums and fan zones. Officers in the force can speak several foreign languages. In Moscow's metro system, security gates in all stations. And in St. Petersburg's metro, sniffer dogs that can detect explosives. As well as a ticket, Russian and foreign fans, including children, will have to have a special supporter passport or fan ID to gain access to a stadium. Issued only after a hooligan watch list check, the document, which includes a passport-style photograph, doubles as a visa to enter Russia. In the stadiums, there are three security stages. Metal turnstiles, security stations where bags are scanned, and a body search. A raft of security cameras will monitor activity during matches. To head off clashes similar to those at Euro 2016 in France between Russian and English supporters, Russian police have carried out a series of searches, arrests and criminal investigations. They've updated a blacklist of hooligans banned from stadiums. A strict ban on the sale of arms, ammunition and toxic substances will apply during the competition. Restrictions on demonstrations and freedom of movement in host cities will be enforced. No fly zones will be in place. Finally, all packages sent to addresses in host cities will be checked and the most sensitive industrial zones closed to help prevent accidents or a terrorist attack.